Hi, I'm George Cow. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know that most of my videos are out outside in nature. Um, they've been really short business and marketing tip videos. Um, just those of you who don't know me, I've been a full-time business and marketing coach for seven years. I have uh, coached hundreds of clients. In the past two years alone, I've done over a thousand individual business and marketing coaching sessions. I have partnered with some of the uh, bigger players in my industry. So I have been around this marketing and business coaching stuff for, for a long time. And now I am sharing as much knowledge as I can for free. Uh, and so uh, instead of doing the, the short tip videos outside, I'm going to start doing uh, fewer videos, but more, maybe more substantial ones that uh, include a slideshow. And the slideshows will be available to you. The link will be attached uh, to the notes of this video. And so I'd love for you to give me feedback on how you're liking my slideshow videos. Um, I did slideshow videos for several years in the beginning, and then I, it's been, I've been out of practice for about three years. So let me, give me your feedback. I'd love to know. So um, today I want to talk about, and I mean, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm using for my slideshow software, I'm using Google Presentation. It's a free slideshow software. I've used it for years. I love it. I highly recommend you try it out too. So I want to talk today about uh, marketing activities. Some of them will get you clients as soon as possible, and others are designed to build your trust and credibility first and build your brand and messaging first, okay? Now, the reason why it's important for you to learn this is because a lot of people, and maybe you as well, you do market, some marketing activities, you're, you're wondering, hey, how come I haven't gotten clients yet by doing these things that are supposed to work? And then other people who are like, well, I don't need clients right now. I just want to build my brand and my credibility first. They end up getting sucked into certain marketing activities that are very short-term focused, and they end up burning themselves out or burning their audience out. And so it's important for you to get clear on what activities are meant for short-term client acquisition, what activities are meant for more longer-term brand building, and you need to decide what's right for you. Just because some marketing guru says you got to do this five-part formula for XYZ, it doesn't mean it's right for you. I have been around the block. I have taught lots of these such formulas myself. I've, 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 I've seen dozens and hundreds more of such formulas. And I'll tell you, nothing is right for you. You have to first, nothing is perfectly right for you uh, unless you first get clear on your goals and get clear on whether these tactics are short, mid, or long term. Okay? So let's go on to... Um, this diagram. By the way, I'm drawing my own pictures for now. Uh, in the future, um, if these videos take off and I have a bit more uh, resources to invest in this, I will, you know, hire some Fiverr affordable graphic designer to make my slideshows prettier. But for now, I'm drawing my own little uh, diagrams. Um, so, if you need paying clients as soon as possible, focus focus on short-term marketing, and I'll tell you what some of those activities are. If you don't need clients as ASAP and you want to more build your trust and credibility first, clarify your message, build your brand in the long term, then focus on longer term marketing. Uh, I mean, really, I will tell you, if at all possible, you should focus always focus more on the longer term just because it's, uh, it's gentler marketing and it gives you more time to build up. Uh, trust with your audience and really trust with yourself as well. So, but you know, I know some of you need clients, paying clients now, and so you got to focus on short term. But whether you focus on short or long term, also see if you have time to do some mid term marketing, and I'll describe that as well. So, first, let's go to long term. As I said, if you can, if at all, do more long term, do more long term. But um, anyway, here, here it is longer term marketing is being consistent in your content on your social media. So for example, posting regularly uh, on your Facebook or your LinkedIn or your Twitter, whichever social media channels inspire you uh, or uploading videos to YouTube. It, the, it's basically getting consistent in sharing your expertise in clarifying your own message. I mean, when you share content, it's not, you're, you're helping other people for sure and you're drawing new people to you, but it's as much about you clarifying your own message and getting better and better at saying it with effectiveness you see so this is why it's more long term it's you're building up trust with your audience you're getting clearer and more confident yourself 
Um, and, and this is also why this may be surprising for you is because some people say, well, sh social media is the way to do marketing. And they get on social media and they're like, how come it's been three months and I haven't gotten any clients? Long-term marketing will take you, I, I, I mean, who knows how, I mean, it really depends on how, how, how much you work and how, how consistent you are, things like that, how frequently you post things. But it could take you six months to three years before you get your first paying client if you're focused only on longer term marketing. So don't be so rushed when you're, when you're doing things that are in this long term marketing slide, okay? Another one is consistently posting on your own blog and engaging your audience there. Now, yes, some people can post one blog post and get a client, but come on, chances are most people who get clients through blogging, they take years to do it because they're more if, if they realize what they're doing, they're more focused on clarifying their message and building a, 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 an audience that really trusts them, that they really enjoy. So that's blogging is really for long-term marketing. Creating a Facebook group or a LinkedIn group and nurturing that community, that's typically not short-term, that's typically longer-term, okay? Because it takes, um, it takes a lot of work to, to nurture and build a community. So don't, don't just do it willy-nilly, you know? Do it with thoughtfulness, and with longer term uh, in mind. Okay, let's look at what's midterm marketing. And as I mentioned, whether you do long or short term, if you can possibly include some time for midterm, that's a good thing. So midterm marketing could, you can get clients anywhere between, who knows, let's say three months to a year. Uh, but it really depends, that the time frame really depends on how much you work, how smart you work, and I'll give you some more of those tips after, at, at the end of the slideshow. So midterm marketing is reaching out to influencers to offer customized free content for their audience on um, and the the content can be um, can be okay so for example somebody else who ha think about okay so let's say you uh, help people with their health okay so you help people design a customized nutritional program that's perfect for their their body type etc. So maybe what you could do is to offer some free content about holistic health and sort of general advice about why one diet doesn't fit everyone and what's what are some things to keep in mind when choosing the right diet for, for oneself. Right? You can offer some free content like that specifically for let's say someone else who has a, a an online course about personal development Personal development is pretty broad. It can include all kinds of things, and maybe you can show up as the guest speaker for health, right, or for nutrition. So, as an example of that, or you again, you find someone who is a personal development blogger, and you 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 um, offer to do a special custom webinar just for their audience um, or a guest article. But let's say you do a webinar. Here's an idea: you could you could offer to say, hey, listen. Um, I'm going to do a really valuable and helpful free uh, webinar for your audience, okay? And you can charge five dollars for it. I'll deliver way more than five dollars in value. You can you can keep the money, and I just want to have uh, people. I want to give this information to people. I want people to know who I am, and if they want to work with me further, that's great. But the webinar itself will be awesome. So that's an that's an idea, right? A guest article. Okay, for for blogs or podcast interview. So think about think about which um, think about your ideal client, and think about which other types of topics they are they they enjoy and topics that are similar to yours but not exactly the same as yours that they would enjoy reading about or or listening to. And that's how you find and then you search influencers like that. Or you can even go to um, their Facebook profile and you look at uh, hover over more find groups, click on groups and see what groups they're part of to get some more ideas or see what pages they've liked to get some ideas, okay? Being helpful in online groups and offline groups, that's also a midterm marketing strategy. Let's go on to short-term marketing, okay? Now, if you need clients right away, okay, um, then focus your efforts on these things. If you need short-term clients, I mean, you need clients right away and you have limited time, focus only on the things on the slide. Ignore the things on the other slides, okay? <clears throat> By the way, if you have a question on, George, is this short or, I, I was taught to do this particular marketing activity, is it short or midterm or long-term? Comment underneath this video and um, 
I respond to comments you know at least once a week so I'd love to give you my feedback on it so with short-term marketing you need to have done enough niche interviews to understand how to modify your offering to what your ideal audience would love to buy that's a really really good use of time honestly if your offer is right and you're talking to the right people you have to do very little marketing for for them to say yes okay so it's all about getting your offer right and talking to the right people if you click on this link <clears throat> Uh, you'll be able to then find a link underneath that. Click on this link and that'll bring you to my article, my advice, my instructions on how to do niche interviews. Be sure to study this article and, and take action on it. You will be so glad that you did. Okay? Um, and then if, you, if you've got the right offer but the, it's, you're, you're offering the people who aren't buying, that means you need to offer it to a different audience. You need to switch and offer to a different audience who are more likely to buy. Okay, this is really, really, really important because if you're not doing these things, it doesn't matter how hard you market, people aren't going to buy it. You've got to get these things right. And then once you've got these things right, then you can use my three-stage plan. Again, click on this and then click on the link below that to get to my three-stage plan. And this is a short-term marketing plan. Okay, so uh, just read, read this and, and take action on it. If you have any questions, you can comment below, uh, below the posting and um, I'll give you my answers usually. About, uh, give me five to seven days to comment to reply but um, finally let's go and end the slideshow with whatever marketing you're doing whether it's short midterm or long term I also encourage you to consistently work on these three things make your content more engaging and if you click on this and click on this <clears throat> you'll be able to find my mind map on how to make your content engaging. So for example, to make your content more engaging, it needs to be more digestible. So you can just click on this to see what it means by digestible. Okay, what do I mean by easing into it? Okay, so read read that. So anyway, this is how you use the mind map. Click on the pluses. Okay. Um, you also need to make your offer more relevant, as I've already said. Whatever marketing, whether it's long term, midterm or short term, click on this. And this is a, a thoughtful uh, article on how to make your offering more relevant and, and better really so be sure to study this one as well and then also be a better helper and be a more thoughtful connector to the people in your network because if you be more useful to the people in your network they will become just human beings they will they will more naturally want to reciprocate they will naturally more want to help you so always be working on that so if you do any of these three things above, if you do it well, you will shorten your marketing time span. You will shorten how quickly you can get clients. You will short. You will short. Uh, you will make short uh, your long-term marketing and how what long-term means is now one year instead of ten years, right? So these are three sort of overall factors. So I hope this is helpful. Give me feedback on how you liked this slideshow training. Um, any questions you have, comment below. And I look forward to seeing how this benefits your business and your life. Until the next video, I wish you well.